So what is it important about this for me personally? I spent the last 20 years writing op-eds and speaking at different places about how important U.S.-China relations is and how important it is to get along rather than confront. What we lack is somebody with the experience and the stature to negotiate with the leaders of the Western world. So Mr. Brennan would you consider being our ambassador and lead our team. And Burningham, by the way, wrote a letter of resignation to send to Secretary of State Seward and say, hey, by the way, I'm coming back as an ambassador from China. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> America lost a son and all the world their servant when he died. was paraded through the straight straight in the stars and stripes and the yellow imperial flag of China. Yeah, Brad has managed to find both of those. Wow. Thank you. The very year the Pilgrim Fathers landed on P Plymouth Rock, slaves landed in Virginia. Freedom has gone on trampling down barbarism, but so has slavery, with the groans of its victims and the clank of its chains. Freedom has left the land bespangled with free schools and filled the whole heavens with the shining towers of religion and civilization. <clears throat> Slavery has left desolation, ignorance, and death in its path. When we look at these things, when we see what the country would have been but for this blight in its bosom, how must every man with brains in his head regret the policy of slavery? For those of us who are leaders in the community, and as I look out, every one of you is a leader in our community, we must always remember to do the moral thing, do the fair thing, to have compassion for all and have the courage to bend the moral arc of the universe towards justice, as Dr. King so eloquently urged us, and as Anson Burlingame uh, knew deep in his soul. So we do not like a trade war. Uh, I believe Anson will not like that, because he uh, worked for the cooperation policy uh, ordered by Secretary of State SeaWorld. Yeah, SeaWorld also bought Alaska for the, for your country. He's a clever man, too clever man. So I'm new here, I've been here to visit uh, Burlington City uh, quite a few times uh, to pay respect to your hero, and the United States hero, and also our hero, a Chinese hero, because he represented China uh, as envoy, first envoy, not only to the US, but also to principal countries in Europe. Uh, also, Burlingame uh, visited uh, San Francisco, but he never came here. George Koo and I launched the Burlingame Foundation on that anniversary date with the purpose of commemorating not only his life but his relevance to today and the future, which we may believe may be even a greater impact today uh, than it was in his own time. We're descendants from Anson's great-great-great-grandfather, Thomas Burlingame, who had four sons. We are from Peter's descendants. My great-grandfather, William Holton Burlingame, who lived from 1870 to 1929, lived in Ann Arbor and was born there. We have a, we have a special gift. Um, Nan is one of the artists in our family. We have many, and she made this. She's a ceramicist. And this is made with a Native American. It's got a horse hair in there, an old traditional. And we wanted, the Burlingames, we wanted to give the artist in China a gift from us to him. So you have to understand this person, you have to to Please do revisit uh, Puanchen's journey in uh, China, or Burlingame's journey in China. 
is it's really difficult to form good relations between nations and how precious they are. Because without them, there are bodies upon the field. Uh, it gives me great pleasure to present to the City of Burlingame a legislative resolution on behalf of both the State Senate and the State Assembly to our Mayor to recognize this very special occasion. And thank you. Uh,